Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you guys can see, I am super excited because I am back with another Monica Vinader haul. And I'm really excited for this haul because I am actually about to travel again. And the last time that I traveled, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I went to Greece this summer and I just had the best time. But Monica Vinader and the jewelry had absolutely carried my Greece trip. I honestly, could not stop wearing the pieces. I'm wearing some of them today that I'm gonna show you as well. I got asked so many questions while I was traveling and even whenever I was posting stories, people would be like, where is your necklace stack from? And I'm going to be revealing it here today. So I'm going to go through some of what I wore in Europe and then also, of course, the huge haul that I am talking about. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Starting with the first item that I got because it's also the biggest item and also the most essential item of what I got today is a jewelry box from Monica Vinader. I absolutely love this jewelry box because first of all, it has my engraving on there. I just put my first and last name. I just like to have my things engraved if you guys didn't know that about me, but I like to have my water bottle engraved. I also have these name stickers that I got from Taiwan that I stick it all over everything I own because when you travel a lot or whatever, Whatever it is I just find that people always mistakenly take your stuff so I like to just have my name on everything just so I can just even avoid having that conversation like hey I actually think that's mine like whatever anyway when it comes to my jewelry box it's like I just also am so protective over my jewelry you guys know I have a huge jewelry collection so I just needed to get this because my Monica Vinader collection is growing and on top of that I just like to have my name on there a few things I want to say about this jewelry box is that first of all I absolutely and so in love with the color so this color as you guys can see is like a very light gray and I feel like with the gold hardware it makes it look so nice you guys have to check out the zipper as well this is what the zipper looks like and I really like this because I feel like even though this jewelry box is huge it still has a zipper so if you really wanted to travel with this product you can whereas other jewelry boxes that I have in the past like I either have one of those drawers or I have another one that opens up like this they don't come with a zipper so really it is really meant for the home whereas this one I feel like it honestly could be multi-dimensional you can have it in your house but if you really wanted you can take it and go so I wanted to show you guys the inside of this jewelry box I already started putting jewelry inside it because I was very very excited so let me show you what the inside looks like so upon opening you can see that there are these two sections here and then this section for you to put your earrings it also comes with this really cute like dust cover to keep your jewelry clean and I guess if you want to keep your jewelry case open it prevents the dust from coming in in the first layer you have the ring section and because I have a lot of my jewelry out right now a lot of my gold rings go up here a lot of my silver rings go down here and then in the middle you have all these different compartments that you can put your things obviously it is just dependent on what you fancy and what you want to put in there it also has this little handle for you to lift it up and you can see the next section so this one I like to think is going to be storing some more necklaces and also whatever you want to store in here I genuinely don't think there's a rule you guys like I think you can just put whatever you want because there's some jewelry pieces like for example this necklace that I have from Monica Vinader I just feel like this one is harder to hang because of this texture right here so I personally like to just put it in the little compartments which by the way every time I wear this necklace I also get compliments on and questions so I'm going to leave the link of this necklace down below as well but you guys know if you guys have been following me for a really long time that Monica Vinader is my go-to jewelry, especially when I'm traveling, just because I feel like a lot of the pieces have the type of design that is just meant for traveling. So for example, this was pretty much my ring stack in Greece this summer. I just feel like this light blue reflects Greece so, so much. If you guys have been to Greece, I'm sure you will know. Greece is all about the blue, and I just felt like this is so fitting to where I was going. And even this ring right here, I just really Really, really liked wearing these two side by side I felt like they were such statement pieces and they were really really great quality so I just like to wear
wear it together. Since we're on the topic, I might as well tell you guys the other items that were really essential for my travel because I just have so many questions so I might as well put it on YouTube before I go to the rest of the product. This pearl necklace here was featured in my last haul and this pearl necklace, don't be mistaken for some of the other pearl necklaces, they were also really cute, don't get me wrong, but this one, I just am so obsessed with. Like, I wore this pearl necklace. It also has this like gold detailing. So kind of no matter how this necklace moved around your neck, it is just so cute. It is also just really, really dainty as you guys can see in comparison to the size of my ring. The pearls are just very, very small and dainty and I just absolutely loved it. So the necklace that I would always wear with it is this one here. It is the collaboration with Kate Young. So I'm not wearing it right now because I actually wore it so much in Greece. I feel like you should be taking your necklaces off every single night, but as you guys know, if you guys have been watching this channel for a long time, I have really long nails and I just cannot be bothered. In terms of coloring and tarnishes, not that I recommend it because obviously no jeweler would recommend that to you. I'm just saying based on my own lifestyle, I always just keep it on, I swim with it, I do everything with it, I shower with it, and so far there has been no problems in terms of color. The only problem that I had, but I feel like this is because I just wear it a little too much, is that this eventually came off. I wanted to mention this because I think the design of this necklace is, as you guys can see, like quite rigid, which is part of the design. So I think just from wear and tear, this ended up snapping off. But the reason I'm also mentioning this is because it's actually a good thing because Monica Venator has a five year warranty. So if you guys do have problems with your jewelry, it is very easy to contact them and get them to pretty much help you with it. I feel like they are so good with their customer service and their warranty. So if your jewelry, if something should happen to your jewelry, don't be afraid. You guys have a five year warranty. So I'm not even ashamed to be like, you know what? I wore this to death and I'm going to go contact them and realize how to fix this. But as you guys can see, because obviously it can't go on anymore, this stack was absolutely beautiful. It would have sat like this, honestly, but I got so many questions about this stack when I was traveling and anytime I posted a story, people were like, where's your necklace stack from? I also layered it with a diamond necklace just so I had some sort of kind of like dimension and layering, but this was kind of the vibe of my necklace stack this summer. And once I get this back, I will be using the stack again. I will be reusing the stack. The way that I had paired everything, and this is going to make a lot of sense with the rest of the haul, is that this set of pearl earrings was also on my ears this entire time. It did not come off. I honestly, I swear to God, you guys, these are the items I wore so much. You need to get it. And like, if you're watching this video, I have 20% off everything. So make sure you click the link down below because you get 20% off everything that we are talking about today. But look at these earrings. Like, look at how cute this is. I just, guys, I cannot get over i i look so excited i i actually wonder if there will be a day a man can make me smile as much as the jewelry does but anyway this other side it is so cute because i feel like it starts off with the gold and it has the pearl dangly thing and then this one it has the pearl and then it has the gold dangly thing and i just feel like together it has the asymmetrical yet symmetrical look. You know what I'm saying? It's so cute. So anyway, make sure you guys check these out. That being said, the reason why I really wanted to talk about what I really wore in Greece is because the other pieces that I got is gonna make a lot of sense now because I wanted to get them some siblings, you know? Just like some jewelry pieces that look good with it. The first one that I wanted to get is this necklace here. Once again, this necklace that I got, I had to get the two items separately. So I got the pendant alone and then I got the chain. The chain that I got, I'm going to leave it in the description box, but if you guys are also looking for a long chain, this is the long chain 
protein that I got. I'm gonna put it on for you guys so you know what I'm saying. You will see that this is not a short chain at all, which also makes putting this on really easy. If you guys like what I got in terms of the length, then feel free to get the exact same. But if you think that it is a little too long and you want something more like this, then you can also obviously get a shorter chain for this. The reason why I wanted to get the long chain though is because obviously this shirt is not the right shirt to be wearing to show you this particular combination. But honestly, the idea that I had was I was really going to be wearing a crew neck t-shirt and then this would really, really stand out here in the middle. You guys can actually see it from my latest reel. It was kind of like a fall transitional outfit. It was one of those wearing versus styling and you can see it very clearly against a black shirt that it made it stand out so much and it really makes a difference in your outfit because when you accessorize, you really, really elevate your outfit. So that was really the idea that I had for this particular necklace. And the reason why this pendant was so drawn to me was because of honestly, this one. I loved this pendant so much. Like I just wanted to get everything in this kind of like style. So this one, the color, it is just this like off white. There's some sort of like, you know, stone material and against the gold I thought it looked so pretty so I just really really wanted to get this kind of similar to this I got the sister item which is the ring and the ring that I got is this ring right here so this is the pendant ring and I just think it is the exact same idea and it looks so so pretty and I feel like would be a great piece for traveling it looks so nice I honestly I have been wearing this ever since I got it and I wanted to show you guys because just this combo is really cute. So another item that I got was because I was so in love with this necklace. I wanted to get the sister item as well, which is the bracelet version. I am so excited, you guys, to be wearing this because this bracelet is going to look so, so cute, especially when I'm also wearing this necklace and then together it just gives really euro summer vibes and even not just euro summer but even like the old money style that has been coming back because i feel like pearls and gold and everything is just like a very big i don't know just like a necessity in part of this type of fashion this is what the bracelet looks like on obviously you can adjust the length if you want i personally like mine right here that way it gives me flexibility to layer some more bracelets if you want i just feel like monica vinader has the best bracelet stats and you guys really need to check it out even if you just look at their storefront you'll be able to see all the different types of bracelet stats so this is another bracelet that i have from them that i absolutely love i even got my grandmother's name engraved in it. So I just feel like even if you were to wear this together, let me just put this on and show you. I feel like this would look really, really cute. The reason I also like this bracelet is because this bracelet is very easy to put on, especially if you're like me and live alone. So this is what this bracelet stack looks like and I just feel like it looks so cute. It just stands out and it just looks so dainty. Like, look at me, imagine I'm like talking to someone and I'm like, hi and i'm just like look at my arm but it's like that's when you know when you're not engaged because i feel like engaged people are like hey and i'm like hi because like i don't have a ring so i gotta show all the other stuff you know what i mean okay but speaking of rings i really do want to show you guys a ring that i got that i'm obsessed with this is the tennis ring this is what it looks like it honestly just looks like a tennis bracelet and maybe i will get that next or the tennis necklace but look at this ring it is so cute it is all over surrounded by diamonds the texture is so interesting because it actually is quite malleable like it isn't your typical like super hard jewelry it isn't why do they do that like why can't they just have one sound and get it over with instead of like you know so the i like that so anyway as i was saying i feel like this is super malleable it's not like your typical ring like this one where it's like super structured as you guys can see and there's no way i could kind of you know bend this thing but this one i thought the texture was really interesting because it's a little bit more flexible and the reason why i bring this up is because even though it is kind of a thick looking ring as you guys can see it is extremely comfortable because it's not just like chained onto your finger it kind of has more fluidity you know what i mean so we love that it's really comfortable i really really like it and it just looks 
super cute. So this is what this side looks like. I also wanted to say they came out with this collection and honestly, I had the biggest debate about whether to get gold or silver, but I saw that they came out with some heart pendants and I was immediately in love and I was like, I need to get this ASAP. So I got this necklace that is just this like a heart pendant it's just this simple heart pendant like i said this also comes in silver i might actually get this in silver because i couldn't resist i'm very particular with my hearts actually when i used to be younger and i would doodle heart doodles or whatever my hearts would look more like this rather than like long and skinny it's usually like wide and fat i don't know i don't know why i don't know i just i i prefer it to look wide and fat <laughs> Anyway, so I really, really liked the heart. That was what really caught my eye. I know a lot of people don't like how yellow the gold is, but for me, I really personally do like it. And I like to kind of mix the tones of yellow and even silver, which by the way, if you guys want to watch on how to style mixed metals, you guys can totally take a look at that. I have a video on that but I just feel like this is so pretty and when you wear it together, especially once my Kate Young necklace is fixed, this combo is going to be so elite like with that this and then this pendant and this heart necklace oh my god like i'm gonna try to put it on i don't know if i can do this myself might have to wait till my friend comes to do it for me but let me see so this is what it looks like with just these two items i just absolutely love the look of this pendant so much, so much, oh my god, I just absolutely love it. So the last item that I got actually surprisingly is not gold and because I really do love their silver stuff but I started just realizing like, okay, I guess the theme of my next trip is going to be more gold anyway. I decided to just get mostly gold stuff but I couldn't resist this bracelet. This bracelet, I promise you, is even better in person. Online, I was already like, Add to cart. It is, I believe, called the heirloom bracelet. I could be wrong. Whatever. I'm just going to leave the name here. Okay. First of all, I just want you guys to look at the design of this. This is one of the items that showed up. And when I opened it, I was like, I am so much more impressed with this bracelet in person than online. And I was already impressed online. Like online, I was already like, I want it. And then in person, I'm like, okay, I will die for you. Like I, is that extreme? But I will risk my life for this bracelet. So this bracelet, I just really like the texture. I don't know what it is. It's like they somehow were able to make this look like thread slash cloth, but in metal, you know? So like, I think just the uniqueness of this bracelet really, really got to me. And it's also a lot thinner than it looks online, which I like because I feel like it definitely looks very dainty. This is what this bracelet looks like. It is also extremely comfortable. I don't know, I feel like it dangles. I'm not gonna put it on right now because Actually, maybe I can. I just have a lot of issues putting on bracelets myself. Usually my friends help me take it on and off because of my nails or when they come over, I'll tell them to put it on for me. But let me see. This is what the bracelet looks like. And I just feel like this bracelet looks absolutely stunning. It's just so comfortable and I love wearing it. If you wanna compare to see what it looks like beside all the other bracelets in comparison for size, this is what it looks like. And I also do think that this is why I do like mixing metal because it just all looks really, really good together. But anyway, that is pretty much the haul that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you guys check out all the items that I talked about today. I'm gonna leave all the links down below in the description box. Once again, you guys can save 20% off, okay? And this is not just for first time customers, this is for any time. And if you're interested in seeing everything that I own from Monica Vinader, there are some other really great pieces that I swear by them. For example, this necklace slash bracelet duo that I have. I'm in love. Okay, I think I need to get this in gold, truthfully. So you guys can check out all the links in my website, lisaway.com slash Monica Vinader. The discount will be automatically applied upon checkout, but you guys need to check it out because this carried 
my summer and I am sure that you guys are also going to love the pieces. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!